a view. The air over here is especially... Wait, what is this doing here? This is what if. And here's what would happen if another planet smashed into Earth. About 50 billion rogue planets are roaming the Milky Way with no host star to hold on to. They don't give off any light of their own and that makes them difficult to spot. Last time a stray planetoid the size of Mars smashed into Earth, it scattered our planet's young crust into space, where gravity glued those particles into what we now call the Moon. This time, it would be all hellfire and brimstone with no survivors left. And here's a timeline of how things break down. A few weeks before the collision, an unknown object would appear in the sky. It wouldn't happen overnight, no. We'd know something was coming. We'd see the planet slowly growing bigger, until one day, it was as big as the moon. It would seem as if everything was unfolding in a relatively slow pace, but that's only because of the huge distances involved. Out there in space, the rogue planet would rush towards us at a speed of 11 kilometers a second. When the uninvited space intruder came into the moon's orbit, bad things would start to happen. The gravitational pull of the alien planet would make the tides on Earth eight times larger than they are now. Floods would begin to rampage through the coastline cities. And still, the mega tsunamis are yet to come. 28 hours before the collision, the gravity of both planets pulling themselves towards each other would speed up the process. The incoming planet would hit a speed of 60 kilometers a second. Mega tsunamis would plot their way across the oceans. With this would come lightning storms, plus hurricanes and tornadoes so large they wouldn't have a number on the category scale. If you didn't book yourself a vacation aboard a spaceship that would take you to outer space, your time on this planet would be running out. Three minutes before the collision, the rogue planet enters the Earth's atmosphere. Provided you hadn't already been killed by the lightning, hurricanes, flooding, earthquakes, or volcanoes, you'd see the rocky invader completely filling the sky above you. Nanoseconds before the collision, the atmospheres of both planets would be compressed together and glow brightly. It would get so hot that everything on the side of the Earth about to get hit would instantly vaporize. For the rest of the Earth, the ground would become scorching magma. Upon impact, the collision would cause friction between the two planets. Millions of tons of superheated rock would be sending a wall of fire in all directions. While the hellfire would rush across Earth's surface, the planet's inner core would be melting it from the inside out. This would have one big outcome. The Earth would collapse in on itself. The end of the era. If you did manage to get away in a spaceship, you'd see the massive remnants of both planets catapulted into different orbits. Some of them would hit other planets. Others would be fired out of the solar system entirely. Whatever was left would form a new asteroid belt encircling the sun. None of this would give any hint that there was once intelligent life on planet Earth. But hey, you can sleep well knowing that this won't ever happen. Well, most likely not. In any case, you've got time to watch a few more what-ifs.